Very familiar faces in the news coming face to face in very unusual circumstances. Convicted killer Bob Ashera talking with convicted former Detroit City Council member Monica Conyers in court. Seven investigator Jim Kurtzner is live in our downtown studio tonight with the reason why, Jim. Yeah, Monica Conyers is working as a legal assistant. Get this, she wants to be an attorney. Now, she's not working for Bob Beshera. She's on the team of the handyman, Joe Gentz, who wants to change his testimony and is right in the middle of Beshera's motion for a new trial. Body deserves um, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth chances, as many as you can get to finally get your foot in the right direction and to make something of yourself and do better with your life. Monica Conyers has been through a lot in her life, pleading guilty to accepting bribes while on the Detroit City Council, serving 27 months of a 37-month sentence in federal prison. Her other record includes her stormy time in office and in the public eye. She was never shy. I'm the first one to Council call member. you, Shrek. Every time there's um, a story about someone, they always make reference to me. And I think at this point, it's been almost 10 years, it's enough. It's time to just let me go and let me live my life and do the best I can for me and my family and be a productive citizen. Conyers says she graduated law school and taken the bar exam in another state, but she wants a Michigan license to be an attorney, something she's always wanted to do. She did not talk about the status of her marriage with longtime Detroit Congressman John Conyers. A divorce was started last year. She's working in an agency that provides legal help to homeless people and single mothers and as an assistant to the court appointed attorney for handyman Joe Gentz now at the center of the motion for a new trial for a convicted killer, Bob Beshera. So I know society would like for you just to sit back in a corner and just die, but that's not how life is, and this America gives you a right to have second chances. Monica Conyers says she can't obtain a law license even with her record or felony conviction. She's hopeful while that decision is pending. Bob Beshera also hopeful he can get that new trial. The next step is next week, Thursday, the 21st, when Joe Gentz decides if he will change his testimony. Live in the downtown studio, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. All right, Jim, a lot going on there. Thank you much. Well, now to your